Metaplex has become the industry standard for launching new NFTs on Solana. It's an open source framework which lets anyone create and sell their NFT artwork. To give you fair warning, the setup is quite technical and having some experience with command line tools and development will certainly help you through this tutorial. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's start by taking a look at the Metaplex website. So this is what we're going to be building and you're going to need some tools to get this up and running. The first thing is you're going to need a web host to host it. It's like a website, so you need somewhere to put that on the web. I've seen a few people use GitHub pages, but I'd recommend a third party host like AWS or Google Cloud Network. I couldn't get this to run on Windows alone, so you're gonna need a version of either Mac or Linux. I use Windows Subsystem for Linux, which acts as like a virtual machine which runs on top of Windows. It's free to use, it's provided by Microsoft, and you can basically have the latest Ubuntu Linux version running on a Windows machine. So you're gonna need a digital wallet and some funds to deploy the contracts to the network. Phantom is the leading wallet for Solana, and you can add this as a browser plugin, much like Metamask. Then you're gonna need a text editor. I'd recommend Visual Studio Code, which is the industry standard. And finally, you're gonna need Node.js setup. You're gonna need version above 15, so I'd recommend using the current version rather than the long time frame support version. Once you have Windows Subsystem for Linux, or if you're on a Mac, you can open up a terminal, and we can go into the command line, and I'm actually gonna install Node.js on Linux, and you should see something like this, and we can start running commands. So let's do an update first. Update. Then let's do a upgrade. Make sure everything's up to date and upgraded. Now we're gonna, ins now we're gonna install curl. Then we're gonna add some sources to apt and install Node.js. Once that's all done, we can should be able to run node minus V. And we got a version and we need a version above 15. We're also gonna need yarn set up and we can install that via the node package manager. I'm using the global variable to install this globally. Now I'm going to move into my Windows file system. So I'm going to do CD, which is change directory, mount C, and then my local folder, which is shared docs. You can press tab to forward it on. Temp. Now if we go back to the Metaplex website, we can go to their GitHub link, and we can either clone or we can download these files. And if we go into this directory, you can see we've downloaded the Metaplex master zip file. Let's open this up. Copy all these files and put them in the root directory. Okay, that's all sorted. I can actually open up a Windows PowerShell here and I'm gonna do code dot and that will open up VS Code with the project. Yes, I trust the authors. I need to go into JS, packages, web, and there's this dot env, the environment file. I need to add my address for the Phantom wallet into this top line. So let's go into Phantom, put my password in. And it's just this address right here. So we can copy this. Let's go back to VS Code, paste this in here. Let's open this up a bit and zoom in so you can see. And I've just pasted in my address so it's stored as this environmental variable. Let's save that file, close that off, reduce this, and get back into Linux. So if we move into that directory now, we can do that by doing change directory, cd, mount, or mnt, c, because it's the c drive on Windows, and then it's the local directory that I've stored it in, which is shared docs temp metaplex. LS will list all the files, and we can see it's all there. Fantastic. Let's move into the JS folder and do npm install. So we're using the node package manager to install all the dependencies. This will take about five minutes, so I'll come back to the video when it's done. Then I'm gonna go into JS, packages, web, and then package.json. I'm just gonna change this line here where it says deploy to GitHub. I'm actually not actually going to deploy it with GitHub. This seems to throw an error in the build process if I don't change it. Let's save that to my local GitHub repository or any other GitHub repository, I believe. Close that up. 
Then we're going to run four commands one after the other. Yarn, yarn bootstrap, yarn build, and yarn deploy. This is going to take about 20 minutes. This package is quite bloated, but at the end of it, we should get something like this. And all files have been exported and written to Metaplex, JS, build, web. So let's take a look at that directory. Metaplex, JS, build, web. You can see we've got all our website files. Now, most of this is set up to be hosted on GitHub pages. I think that's okay, but it's quite complex and you need a GitHub account and it's not that great because it's free hosting. It's not good if you want, you're expecting a lot of traffic. If you're gonna be kind of doing an auction where you're expecting a lot of kind of concurrent connections and a lot of people kind of swarm into this all at once, then it's gonna be better to have a load balancer and server set up in your own web hosting system. I'm not expecting a lot of traffic, so I'm just gonna copy these files across to my blog, but any web host should work, it's just static files. Once they're copied across, we can bring this up. So if we go to jamesbuccini.com forward slash metaplex, and we can connect our wallet here. Now let's create, and we can go ahead and create our first NFT. So let's do an image one. So it's something I was working on for another project. We can take up to a minute for that to upload. Now let's continue to mint. Let's give it a title. Maximum supply one. I'm not gonna add any attributes here, but if you wanted to, you can add a trait type, value, and a display type. You can add multiple attributes, obviously, for each image. Let's continue to royalties. I'm gonna set a royalty percentage to zero. Create a split, 100%. Here we have our first NFT, and we can mint that for a cost of $1. So let's pay with sell. Approve that transaction. And we got some fireworks, we've created our first NFT. Let's take a look at that in the collection. It's definitely not built for speed. There we have it, our lovely little NFT. So the final thing I wanted to share is how to put this up for auction. So if we go to sell and we're gonna sell a existing item. Let's choose our Solana flower, continue to terms, price. One sold is actually worth quite a lot now, isn't it? It's 130 odd dollars. So let's try 0.01. And let's change the tick size to 0.01 as well. Continue. Auction to begin immediately. Auction duration. Let's put this on for say 60 days. The gap time. So this is the time that it extends the auction um, if someone bids. So if someone bids right at the end, it will extend it another five minutes, however long you want. Tick size for ending process, 0.1. Let's continue. Uh, I don't want to do a participation NFT, but if you did want to give an NFT to anyone that bids, then you can do. Right after it's published until sold, let's publish our auction. So for 0 0.01 Solana, which is about $1.30, I believe, which is still massively overpriced for my artwork, you can buy yourself an NFT. But it's worth coming on the website to check it out and see how it works anyway. There's a few other things you need to be aware of as well. 
Um, if you want to run kind of like a Solana type um, fair mint process where people come on and they, they mint their own tokens, there's actually a Metaplesk uh, kind of module for that. It's called, a, I think it's called a candy shop or a candy machine. I haven't used it myself, but I know that's what other projects are using. There's also, there's also a project called Holoplex, which is putting together a, a kind of Metaplex deployment with that candy machine plugin. And they're going to do like a no-code type system so that anyone can come on and mint their own NFTs and put them up for kind of like a fair mint type launch. That isn't live yet, but when that goes live, it's going to obviously make this whole process a lot simpler. For more complex projects, you're probably going to want to dig into the Metaplex code and modify some of that and also have a look at the SPL token program to see how NFTs are actually stored on the Solana blockchain. So let's take a look at this auction. Let's zoom in a bit. And we can see we've got a place bid here. That'll link up to the Phantom Wallet, all pretty straightforward. I won't actually do that myself and start wash trading already. You can have a look at the NFT as well. And there's my lovely flower. I did actually draw it myself on Inkscape. So let's close that. And that's it for this tutorial, really. I hope you found this useful and it's provided some insights in how to set up Metaplex and work with NFTs on the Solana ecosystem. If you're interested in learning more about Solana development, I have a video and a blog post about that. Subscribe to the channel for updates. Don't forget to hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And thank you for watching.